Okay, so we're back for a shared reading with about the ugly sweater. Uh, the story was about Abuela who made a sweater for these two kids who were cousins. One was named Ricky and the other was named Sophia. Um, and they wore their sweater, we had covered how whenever you switch speakers, you have to indent your paragraph. And we are on to the final comprehension portion of this. So let's take a look. It says, what is Ricky's plan for the party on Saturday? And how does his plan work out? So I think what we'll do is oops, we'll go back and I'll read this again really quickly to you. And you can follow along. It says, the ugly sweater. I wanted to like the sweater Abuela made for me, but everything about it was the worst thing ever. The sleeves were too short, the material made me itch. It was an awful pale green color and there was a big basketball patch sewn into onto it. I'm terrible at basketball. My cousin Sophia, who's great at it, loves to remind me. So you can really tell these two probably like each other, but they do like to tease each other. So here's an indenting and a quotation mark. That tells me this is spoken. It says, I know you don't like it, Ricky, Mama said, but Abuela made it with love for you. So you're wearing it for Abuela's party this Saturday. All week I imagined ways to avoid wearing the sweater. Maybe I'd spill something on it or lose it. But then I imagined my sweet Abuela knitting it for me, thinking about how I would like it. Making her happy was worth all of Sophia's teasing. By Saturday, I had a plan. I'd wear the sweater until Abuela saw it. Then I'd take it off before Sophia arrived. Easy. Except, of course, Sophia arrived first. She snorted. Ricky, that sweater is terrible. So remember, Sophia's talking. Now, on to Ricky. It's not so bad, I lied. Then I noticed something. Sophia, why are you wearing, still wearing your coat? No reason, she said. Aren't you hot? I asked. Oh, fine. Sophia peeled her jacket off. Underneath was a very ugly sweater. It was bright pink and had a picture of a ballet dancer. Sophia hates ballet. Your sweater is worse than mine, I said. Shh, Sophia hissed. But it was too late. Abuela had walked in and she heard everything. I felt terrible. Abuela, I started to say, I, I didn't mean... But before I could finish, Abuela burst out laughing. That's when I noticed she was also wearing an ugly sweater. Welcome to my ugly sweater birthday party, she said. You both look perfect. So let's take a look here. And I noticed that I read the question before I went and reread the, uh, the passage or the, the story again, because that is one of the things that you can do to help you think about. You want to think about this question while you go back and reread says, what is Ricky's plan for the party on Saturday and how does his plan work? Ricky plans on wearing the ugly sweater to the party until Abuela sees it. And then he wants her to see that he is wearing the sweater she made him. Then he's, take this, he's going to take the sweater off before Sophia arrives. His plan doesn't work because Sophia arrives at the party before Ricky. The next part says, based on the information in the passage, so based on what you read from the story, how would you describe Abuela? Use details from the passage to support your answer. So this is really important for third graders to go back and use what we call details or parts of the passage to support your answer. Well, I think that Abuela is a nice grandmother who has a sense of humor. Ricky describes her as sweet, and his mother says Abuela made the sweater because she loves him. Abuela has a sense of humor because she planned an ugly sweater birthday party. She made ugly sweaters on purpose. She thought it was funny that Ricky and Sophia, Sophia didn't know that. So some of the things that you need to kind of remember uh, when you're doing shared reading is it's okay to read the story or the passage more than once. In fact, we do that a lot. And also one of the tricks is to read the question. It's kind of like setting your brain in motion to think about that question while you go back and reread. So I came over and read the, the, the first question before I went back to reread, okay? These are all little helpful um, tricks that good readers use. Also, um, 
Along with speech tags at the end of dialogue, you can also know who's speaking just by when the author indents the paragraph. That's another skill. So happy reading, kids.